Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha and in today's video I wanted to talk about VSG 11 months post-op. Cannot believe it but then I kind of can because I haven't been counting. <laughs> I haven't really been uh, focused on it as much as I was like month two, three, and four. Um, those months earlier just because if you guys didn't know I am currently pregnant 22 weeks as of this week. Um, so I've really been like counting those months more than the um, VSG. But anyway, I still want to update you guys because um, I've been experiencing a lot of symptoms. Um, I would definitely say my symptoms are more VSG related than pregnancy related, but they can go hand in hand um, for a pregnant person or for a VSG person. So let me just get into the stats. I had VSG surgery October 30th. 2019 I weighed in at 276 last weigh-in I was which was what August 30th my birthday I was um 239 and then this month September I am 245 so that is a five pound weight gain 44, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 6 pound weight gain. So I can definitely say I have clearly gained a lot of weight this month. Um, the most weight I have gained throughout the whole pregnancy. Um, hopefully I can um, not move out of the 245. That's really my goal is to stay where I'm at for a little bit. Um, really try to maintain this as much as possible. I've noticed that I have been eating a lot more junk, meaning um, not really candy. I have been eating candy a lot more than usual, but I've been eating like a lot of greasy, fatty, heartburn type of foods um, that will give you indigestion. I've been having a lot of acid reflux. I've been having a lot this month and I can really contribute that to the things that I eat. Um, the amount that I can eat is very different. I can just give you offhand some days I can eat a lot, some days I can't, but I know, I feel like that inner Keisha has come back to where, oh, you need to eat everything off your plate. If you put it on your plate, you shouldn't have to go back later. Like, that's how I used to be, and I feel like that's how I am now. I feel like I've been eating with my eyes a lot more. Today, I actually made a pot roast. I put so much food on my plate that it never takes me up to 40 minutes to eat my food. And it took me so long like to eat and it's because I put so much food on my plate. So um, that's one thing. And even when I go and have like takeout or something like that, I feel like I'm like getting so much more. I've been to McDonald's in the last two weeks, probably like three or four times and I never eat McDonald's, whether it was like early VSG or um, before VSG, I really wasn't a McDonald's person. So that could be like contribute to the convenience of it because it's right next to my job as well as, um, but then again, I've been at my job almost a year, uh, but then again, I didn't know it was there. So yeah, it's probably because of um, the convenience of it and the fact that I'm pregnant and that's just what I want because it, McDonald's is not all that. However, their French fries have been on point lately. So yeah, I've just been eating a lot of takeout mcdonald's chinese food candy and i've been cramping a lot which is probably from you know like my stomach backfiring and then the fact that i'm also pregnant i've been having back pain which is probably more pregnant related than vsg related but the acid reflex um actually threw up this week and that was from um eating mcdonald's but um, it just didn't digest well. Like I'm eating really fast and the, the, my stomach and my digestion just can't keep up with how fast I'm eating. Like I'm eating like I didn't just have VSG, whether it's a year ago or whatever, like I need to slow down. Um, I'm trying to get my water in. This is actually my third water bottle for today. So that's two, four, six, that's six cups. Plus I'm going to make sure I have my crystal light. That's like my treat. I love crystal light. So I'm going to have that, but, um, Overall, I know what it is. It's my eating and I really need to stick, stay away from like um, fried food and greasy food and all that stuff. And yeah, because I never experienced acid reflux. I never, ex I've experienced that burping sensation, but literally it was probably all this week. Like it was, it wasn't, yes, was it yesterday? 
I don't know if I had it yesterday, which was Saturday. I'm not sure. But I know today I didn't have it. And today I also didn't have takeout. So I might have not had that burping sensation um, yesterday. But I know I had it like Monday through Friday. It was horrible. And my gas was horrible. And I've been having like a lot of um, bowel movements. So it was just like really, really bad. So going into next month, my goal is to really stay at um, like between 243 to 240 six no i said i'm 245 to 245 like i really want to stay in that range so that the, that this five pounds that i gained in september can actually balance itself out and and be more like 2.5 so that i don't gain in october currently i have gained let me see i started my pregnancy at 232 back in may and now I'm 245, so two, three, four, five. So 13 pounds my whole pregnancy, and I am six months. So I personally don't think that's bad. I'm still pretty much on track. Um, I wish I was closer to like nine pounds gained, but either, e either saying that I'm still not that bad and I'm still sticking to VSG helped me so much with um, not having me gain in the beginning and also not really gaining that. I think with my pregnancy with my son without VSG and just eating a regular bad diet during pregnancy, I probably around this time gained about 25 pounds already. And then during the ending part, I probably gained like from the third trimester, I probably gained about 10 pounds in that trimester. So altogether I gained 35 pounds with my son and to be six months pregnant and only gain 13 pounds i'm really happy about that but i don't want to lose control you know what i mean um just the fact that i was able to gain so much this month says a lot so i really want to <clears throat> excuse me i really want to work on maintaining my weight um slowing down on my eating to work on the acid reflex as well as staying away from fried greasy oily foods because that's just not good for you regardless if you have vsg or not so let me know how you guys are doing. 11 months post-op. Congratulations. We are almost at one year. I think I'll, I'll still like put up some pictures because I'm not like 280 like I was when I started. Almost 280. I'm still like damn near 30 pounds down. 30 plus pounds down. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.